Do you know what climate change is? Formerly known as global warming. So yes, it seems there's something about temperature. But in reality, temperature is just a small part in the whole story. It has now become a cult, preached by the disciples of the far left. A cause that many extremists have adopted to find meaning in their lives. Believing they are saving the planet from the ultimate antichrist. The oil and fossil fuel industry. Conditioned and terrorized by their teachers from a young age, making them believe in apocalyptic stories caused by climate change. Teachers who are also manipulated by a massive propaganda machine controlled by a billion-dollar industry. And political systems that profit from it to make money and win election. Please watch until the end, because this is probably the most rational and truthful video about climate change. For the media in general, it's more profitable to talk about the end of the world. Or on the other hand, about conspiracy and scam. From Al Gore to Greta, have you seen all the media circus surrounding the issue? People are suffering. People are dying. This has made the entire Generation Z completely terrified and anxious, believing that they are all heading towards the apocalypse and death in the near future. So, they believe they have the ultimate mission, which is to save the planet, and that doesn't even make sense, because it's not the planet that's in danger, but life itself. Certain types of people, generally young and naive, are susceptible to easily fall for those kind of causes, for its dramatic aspect and to feel like contributing to saving the world. Unfortunately, most of the time, they go about it the wrong way, such as by blocking roads. They protest as often as they can and continuously seek attention by all means. They always attack gasoline cars first and constantly, as if this would solve the entire problem in itself. Do you know how much money has been spent on climate change over the last decades? Several trillions. That's billions of billions. With this money, we could probably have saved more lives than the worst scenario of climate change could kill. When there is a lot of money involved, it's hard to know the truth. In some cases, money could even lead science to lie. Imagine what a politician could do. It would be like asking Pepsi Cola to do a study on whether sugar is good for health. What is the climate situation exactly? Let's look at some graphs showing past temperature variations. And I will spare you the scientific explanation that made it possible to gather this information. Let's start with a chart for the last 500 million years. We can see several fluctuations with gaps of 40 Fahrenheit or 22 Celsius and recently, we were in the lowest possible temperatures, just coming out of the last ice age. So, if we rely on the past trend, a rise seemed to be inevitable anyway. The next chart zooms in on the last 65 million years, which corresponds to the extinction of the dinosaurs following a probable meteorite impact. This caused a drastic drop in global temperature, Zooming in further to the last 500,000 years, we see that the temperature is stable but oscillating by about 7 Celsius in a perfectly regular manner, which could be explained by intermittent and regular variation in the Earth's axis or a variation in its orbital path. If we get even closer for the last 1,000 years, we indeed see a rising trend over the last 100 years. But we need to put this graph in perspective here. The vertical value, in term of temperature, is on a very small scale of only plus or minus 1.5 Celsius only, which enhances the impression of amplitude. And on a short span of 20 years, the temperature is actually stable. And finally, this chart shows us a projection up to 2100, with both optimistic and pessimistic scenario. What can we learn from all these charts? It's that the temperature has always varied greatly over time, regardless of human presence, and with or without cars. Also, let's keep in mind that we are currently in one of the coolest periods, and we are just coming out of the last ice age. Therefore, it seems almost inevitable that the temperature will rise anyway. Is CO2 responsible for the 1 degree increase in temperature over the past 100 years, despite a stable plateau on the last 20 years? Well yes, CO2 could be to blame, with industrialization, electricity, and combustion engines. But the real impact is not easily calculable and remains very hypothetical, although the idea is very plausible. What consequences await us? The worst risk is the melting of glaciers, in Antarctica and Greenland. This will probably happen regardless, whether there's a reduction in CO2 emission or not. 
This could lead to a sea level rise of between 1 to 3 feet by 2100, which is manageable. On a scale of several centuries, the worst scenario would be 8 feet. But over such a long time scale, this leaves time to adapt. We're not talking about Noah's Ark yet. Regarding extreme weather phenomena, over the last 100 years, there has been no change in terms of the number and intensity of storms. But there would be a difference in term of amount of rainfall, which would be greater. Despite what the media might suggest, which love headlines blaming climate change for every storms or phenomenon. For instance, this year and next year, we are affected by the meteorological phenomenon El Niño, which disrupts temperatures and causes precipitation, storms, and droughts. What should we do? Meanwhile, there is much to gain by starting a transition to renewable energies, which would lead to fewer emissions and reduce pollution in major urban centers. It's also good to adopt better habits for managing our waste and recycling more effectively. It remains important to continue all our efforts. But without panic, blocking roads, or falling into extremes. Together, one step at a time, let's continue our efforts toward a greener planet. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Watch my introduction video by clicking on the video on the left. Otherwise I suggest you watch the next video by clicking on the one on the right. Thanks for watching.